okay the okay it's time for a test run after overhauling the engine starter okay and uh, editing the transmission for now it's okay and overhauling the distributor as well so now it's time for a test run don't mind the carburetor that is going to be replaced with a new one all right so maybe firstly you have to ensure that there's nothing on the a pulley side that can be helped okay and then secondly you want to make sure that there is fuel in the system and to do that i'm just going to i'm going to use this fuel over here and i'm going to fill it up over here not much just a little bit all right that's enough um okay now we have fuel in the system and then secondly you want to make sure that the system is, is on okay firstly your distributor must be on so it's got two wires here one positive and the other one is ground so the positive one goes to the positive of the battery the negative one goes to the negative of the battery and then you have the switch on the carburetor as well and uh, make sure that switch is also turned on so it's two wires again the other wire is uh, ground, so just ground it uh, on the carburetor itself because the whole system is uh, ground. Uh, and then the positive one goes to this positive of the um, distributor. So now to turn on the system, I just do this. When I do this, it's on. When I do this, that's off. And then coming to the starter now. In the starter, yes, this is ground for everything. And then the positive is below here. Uh, so that's the positive for the starter, which goes straight to the positive of there. A battery over here yes that's connected and then the next thing you want to crank now or oh, before that obviously you need to switch on the distributor and the carburetor so let's just put these ones together over here and then now you want to crank the engine I'm going to use this wire this is the solenoid wire from the starter so when I put this one to the positive it should crank and the engine should run provided everything is set properly let's check let's check it any longer simply because there is no coolant there's no water there's no radiator so that is it first kick it runs that is simply because everything is just on point and that's how you overhaul an engine thank you this is a three white toyota engine it was a complete overhaul new pistons new rings new bearings new crankshaft as well the old crankshaft is over here this is the, the old crankshaft it was um, it was worn out here on piston number one, on general number one, uh, and then the pistons as well. They were worn out, so I had to replace all the pistons, rings, bearings, crankshaft, yeah, and cam followers as well. So the only thing missing now it is going to be the carburetor, and then the engine is ready to. Okay, of course, even the, 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 the seal at the back of the transmission is new. The um, transmission mount is new. Um, starter is not new. I overhauled it. Um, but um, the brushes and the like and the contacts, they're new inside. So it's almost new. That's the engine. Thank you.